Welcome back to Fish of Hex. Today I want to talk about coralline algae. Now, 90% of the reefers out there want it. Um, most of the people, when they do get it, they end up hating it because it just takes over the whole tank. Now, what I mean by that is it will grow on the front glass if you're not wiping your glass enough. And it, it just kind of takes over everything. Now, most reefers love it to be on the back glass. Uh, power heads, yes, and the rock completely covered. Now for me, I run a bare bottom tank. Um, reefs that I've had in the past, I love to have them, I love to have the coralline growing on the glass on the very bottom. Because over about six to eight months, the uh, the entire bottom of the tank will be pink, purple, etc. And uh, oh, the eel came out to play. He's over there in the corner. He must be hungry. Anyways, um, so growing coralline algae. How do you introduce it into a new tank? One, you can get a rock at the local pet store or a friend, preferably a friend, who knows what the hell is at the pet store. Um, and you could take that rock, put it in your tank, and you know, scrape it with a tool, razor blade, something like that, or even just setting in the tank, and uh, you know, it'll spread coralline algae naturally. Another way is to, uh, oh man, my eel's actually trying to kill a snail. Why you gotta do that, boy? Can you just wait five minutes and I'll feed you? Jeez, anyways. Um, or you can buy snails at the store that already have coralline on the shell. They'll walk around the tank and it will spread around. Now, what I did is I actually just got a rock with it on there, ended up, you know, scraping the rock off, and it, it worked fine. It spread out through the tank. Now, to make sure it grows, you need to have stability. You need to have the proper level of calcium and alkalinity. So. Make sure you're, if you're dosing, you're dosing, like I said in a previous video, dosing equal parts of calcium and alkalinity, and make sure that the levels are in the right range, between 380 and 450 for calcium, and make sure DKH is between 7 and 11 DKH. Now, I usually keep mine around 9 to 10 DKH, um, and my, my calcium is about 400. It stays right there. My, my uh, coralline grows perfectly fine. Now, the first place coralline is going to grow is on power heads, uh, overflow boxes, stuff like that. So... One thing you can do is if you see it starting to grow on a power head, just take a tool, razor blade, scrape it off a little bit and let it, you know, catches a power head and spreads out through the tank. And uh, that was a great way to, you know, spread coralline algae throughout the tank. Now, guys, I'm going to let you go. So I'm going to feed this eel because he's starting to try to kill all the fish. Yeah, he's pissed. Anyways, you know, I don't get it, man. I feed this eel every single day and he eats an entire silver slide and then he just wants to kill all his tank friends, mates. I don't get it, man. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, hit me up. Later.